Very well done. So uh, you've worked your way through the getting started module and you found yourself on the practice assignment page. So my intent on this video is to basically walk you through the assignment, uh, give you some ideas on how you can complete things. Uh, this is a very important uh, assignment because this is pretty much going to show you how you're going to be doing your guided notes uh, once we start officially doing a video lesson. So please make sure you pay attention and you watch and you learn and you get items all squared away at your own uh, home so you can uh, uh, complete things on time and successfully. So let me finish, uh, let me go ahead and uh, share my screen. Uh, again, you're currently watching or you're currently on our home screen. Uh, let me go to the modules. <clears throat> and your work has gotten you to the practice assignment page. So let me go ahead and open up that page. And uh, what you're basically doing is watching that video. Uh, assignment page usually has a due date as well as points and files to upload and file types. All right, so make sure whatever you do, you're creating PDF, JPEGs, or PINs. I find those to be, uh, to work the best, all right, in the Canvas. But uh, the intent of this video, the intent of this assignment is to help you practice uploading files, completing the files, right? Give you suggestions on how to do that. How con to convert the files, again, giving you some suggestions. How to upload these files to uh, the pages in Canvas for me to grade in the speed grader and learn how to assign, uh, basically submit that so that I can grade that. And then I think there should be a sixth item. Make sure you read my feedback um, and you're getting a perfect five uh, because some of the problems you might wanna know what the answers are um, you know, want to hear from me, just we're going to practice that idea of getting feedback. Okay. So for starters, the way that you upload a file in Canvas is usually if anything's want is to be uploaded, it's highlighted in a greenish blue and there's a arrow down. So hit that arrow down and what'll end up loading is our file. And unfortunately it's not loading. Let's see. Hmm. Let me leave the student view and see if it loads up this way. Maybe I, because I haven't published the course, maybe that's why it's not allowing me to do that. But let me go ahead and upload the file. There we go. That's what it was. All right. So the first page, again, I'm, it's not intended to be hard. Uh, you know, there's just three questions for you to answer. All right. And the second page, when you get to it, is pretty much the same thing. I think there's only a couple of problems. Again, the intent isn't to be hard, to make you think too tough. It's just basically to practice uploading files. So that's basically the first thing. So you now know how to upload a file. How are you going to complete them? Well, this basically depends on the technology that you have. Um, if you have the ability to print these uh, pages out, please do so. You can complete them you know, with your pencil and paper and then uh, take snapshots of them later. So that's one option. Another option, especially today with technology, you have your iPad, your Surface Pros, uh, whatever other technology you have, sometimes you can just upload those to like a Notability or some other sort of software application. And then you can break out your stylus pen and then you can do them right there uh, on the start with the stylus pen. Again, please make sure you're doing things by hand. Don't write, don't type things out. Make sure you're writing them out with a paper, pencil or pen or with a stylus pen. So that's another option. Uh, that you can do. If you do not have that technology or if you do not have a printer, your next option is to basically take some good old fashioned loose leaf paper out, write down what you see on the pages. Again, there's only uh, three things on page one and three, two things on page two, write them down and then complete them that way. All right. So those are probably the three biggest ways that you can actually complete the file to get it ready to download. Third, right. So now that you've got them completed, what do you do to get them to JPEGs, PDFs, or PINGs? Again, this is dependent on your technology. Oops, I don't have my phone around me. My technology is I've got a phone with Cam Scanner on it. If you don't want to use Cam Scanner, there's probably a bunch of other free applications out there. The Cam Scanner allows me to basically scan files. I can either do it page by page, or what I can do is create one file of several pages. So again, that depends on your technology that you have. Um, uh, some people have a scanner, a printing uh, that'll actually scan things out. Uh, maybe you just use your camera phone on your thing. Most of the time, be careful because cameras tend to use uh, HIC 
and you need to convert those to JPEGs or ping. So perhaps you open up a, you know, a paint 3D uh, thing or something. So somehow, some way, you need to figure out a way to uh, snake, take snapshots of your work, all right, and make sure that those snapshots are JPEGs, PDFs, or pings. Like I said, what I do is I use Camp Scanner, and it pretty much does a lot of the stuff for me. All I got to do is snap pictures and orientate and rotate and make sure they're not blurry save it to a file, I upload it, and I'm done, right? So um, I usually email them to myself so I can put them on a file, put them on a folder wherever I want to go. So that's how you convert them. Next is how to upload. So let me go ahead and go back into student mode. I hope this is going to work the way it should, all right? But when you go, uh, when you're ready to upload them, all right, into, into Canvas, at the very top, there's a button that says Start Assignment. So basically, you're going to start the assignment, and then if you, sometimes it'll scroll down for you, other times it won't, but here's basically where you are going to upload the files that you made. Uh, you can, if uh, some people actually like to put them in their Canvas studio, so the pages are already in the studio there for you. Um, so th that's one way. Some of you have the pages uploaded to your Google Drive, so you can access the Google Drive and go there. But many of you will just probably have to do a file upload. All right, so when you're ready to do a file upload, there's a button that says upload file. You'll press that. You'll press another button that says choose file. And then let me go ahead and find my Canvas one. I don't know they're here somewhere. Let me go by name. All right, so oops, maybe I don't have them in this file. Let me go to an older file. All right, so I got to, so I'm so organized, I'm disorganized, huh? So find your practice Canvas files. Oh, Lordy, I'm doing a horrible job explaining this, huh? <laughs> Let me, I could have sworn I had them in the, let's try it again. There, there they are. So there's my practice Canvas one file. So I'll just double click on it and you see that it's loaded it up. All right. So again, the idea here is to do several pages because you're, Notes are going to be sometimes five, six, seven pages long. So fight the urge to cram all these things into just one page. I know there's not a lot of work, but the intent is to learn how to do multiple pages. So if you created a file that has multiple pages, you're done. But if you have another file with the other page, just add a file, upload the file, choose the file. And in this case, I'm looking for my practice canvas two, right? And there it is right there. All right, so now I've uploaded both Canvas, uh, uh, both practice uh, Canvas files. Just to do that again, right? Add another file. You upload. You choose the file. Go to your computer and find out where that's at. This is practice three. Double click on it, and there it is. All right. So once you're ready to upload it, hit the sum submit assignment key, and then depending on how fast your internet is, right? If it's really slow like mine. But what, if it's successfully done, you should get some confetti. So that means I've successfully done the assignment. Over here to the far uh, right, you can kind of see some submission details. Uh, you can actually press and see what I'm seeing, right? Let me go ahead and do the submission details there. You can also see the pages that you uploaded, right? Uh, their order, uh, one, two, and three. And then you can even say, put a comment, right? I did it. Right and save it. And then what's going to happen on my side in the speed grader, I'm going to see your files that you uploaded. I'm going to see the same comment area. I'm going to say you did it. And then if there's anything wrong or any comments, I'm going to put there for you to read later. All right. So that is how you basically do it. Uh, right now for the uh, assignment, you have uh, an infinite number of attempts to get it right because this is practice. And I want you guys to come up with some routines that are going to help you do the assignment right, right? So let me go back to it. So again, um, kind of going over what we went through, right? We've learned how to upload pages from Canvas. I've talked to you about how you can complete those depending again on your technology, how to convert them to files that are uh, conducive toward this, JPEGs, PDFs, and pings, how to upload the files, right? And submit them, all right? So that should be a good walkthrough. So now it's a bit time for you to basically get the uh, practice assignment done. All right, if you have questions, please email me. Otherwise, get it done and keep moving forward through the Getting Started module and go write your introduction. Talk to you later.